everyone. This is your partner speaking. Welcome to the DHC Network. And today we are back with another let's play on Red Dead Redemption 2 Storm. We are now on part 47. So last time we um we met Hamish and helped him get his horse back, and we also um helped Shar learn how to shoot, and we also checked that um mic for Obadiah Hinton, which turns out that the people over there are just crazy. And we also um, saved Eagle Flies from the U.S. Army. So here we are in St. Denis. We're about to meet with the mayor, Henry Lemieux, once again. So furthermore, enough of talking. Let's get straight to the gameplay, shall we? Let's go ahead and talk to the mayor. All right, here we go. Oh, Arthur, it's you. Come in. Where's what's his name? Jean-Marc, he's a little histrionic. I'm worried that he's going to open his mouth and say things that aren't true to those vulgar Puritans at the newspaper. Well, perhaps true, but not the whole truth. Uh. <laughs> Look at these beautiful books. This is magnificent. We'll bring this city back to life if it kills me, and it probably shall. Yes. Ah, I have two copies of this book. This is an old field guide. Might be of some interest to you, maybe not. But please have it. It's worth quite a bit. Thank you. My pleasure. Listen, Mr. Arthur, I'm sorry to ask this of you. You've done so much, but... But what? Jean-Marc. I'm afraid he's going to open his mouth and say things. How do you mean? Uh, saying nasty things about the work that we have done together, for example. Is that my business? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Of course not. He also found out some unsettling news about you. It's all scurrilous lies, of course. But... What sort of news? Oh, I do not talk about idle gossip. Please, I'm a public servant, and we are friends. Where do I find him? Well, he does live over on uh, Rue de Zachary. Rue de Zachary. Thank you, Arthur. So we got a good old Gene Mark's house. So um, I'm gonna tell you something about this mission. This one has, I think, overall of all the missions that required uh, decisions. This one's the hardest decision to make, and and I'll explain later why. So yeah, it's gonna be a very hard choice. So anyways, we'll find Gene Mark. So let's go to his farmhouse. So let's make our way over there. Yep. All right, confront Gene Mark. There I see him. Uh, let's go to G Mark real quick. I know for sure he's gonna run. Why you wanna go and say those awful things about me, buddy? <laughs> Best not to make a big drama of things. Come on, let's go see your boss. This is gonna hurt, but it's for the best. <clears throat> Hey, right, take G Mark to the mayor's well being seen. Oh damn, this could be this could be hard. I could think the mayor's house was not that hard. Oh crap. I guess we gotta defend myself. What? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, right, where can I take him to? Well, where, where can I take him, though? Alright, guys, I guess I gotta figure it's one of those missions again. Kind of ridiculous. I just hope there's no cops around here. Or lawmen, I mean. Where's my horse at? Okay, so from what I see, uh, Mary Luisa's house is right over here. We have to get across. I think I know how to get there. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to the to the swamp so we can probably make our way around. Now let's get the horse. Now let's take um, 
Let's take um Jean Jean Mark, that's his name. Alright. To make our way, let's go this way. I just hope there's no there's no lawman or anyone there. I just hope the horse does not be stupid because sometimes the horse can be stupid at times. Come on. Come on, horse. All right, this, okay, there's, I think we're in the clear. We're actually about to pass by Angela Bronte's house. I just hope there's no no um, obstacles to go through. All right, we just passed Angela Bronte's house. Oh, crap. There's somebody over there. All right, more to the swamps. Yeah, the swamp's probably the only way to get to the mayor. Okay, there's somebody there saying NPC. There's the bridge. Alright, there's no one around here. I think it's pretty much the only way. I'm not sure how everybody gets there, but... I think there's a metal requirement, but I doubt there is one. Yeah, despite this being a stranger mission. So here we are. We're at the mayor's. Okay, that was absolutely easy. So, if you're if you're doing this mission for the first time, um, do that. Do what I did, and this is my first time doing this mission and my second attempt. All right, here we go. Where did I drop him off? At the to the mayor. I think it's the front door, I believe. Let's go ahead and drop him off at the front door. I know, yeah, the decision, the, the, excuse me, the decision, this is going to be a very hard one. Looks like in front of the mayor's house. Quick, Mr. Adam, Remember, bring sir, him around the back. I am the mayor. All right, let's follow the mayor then. Oh, Jean-Marc, Jean-Marc, uh, I've missed you, I've missed you. What silly, silly man we have been. Yeah, he had a fall. He might be a little woozy. Oh, the poor boy. Jean-Marc, can you hear me? Uh, where am I? Le mieux. What have you done? Oh, you had an accident, Jean-Marc. Thank the Lord our friend was there to find you. Really? I don't remember so well. No, Jean-Marc. Here. All right, follow the mayor. Draw Dream Mark too close to Mayor Lemieux. My brother, my brother, Jean-Marc. Oh, we've been so... Uh, I promise to change. I know. Ah, uh, what a silly, silly misunderstanding. You see, the problem is principles will destroy us all. Sure. As long as you two are friends again. Yes. And you say you've changed, so we will run the city like men of honor, like you said. Uh, of course, of course. We, we will strive to improve the city's moral backbone by any means available to us. Within reason, yes. Yes, yes. Within my reason. Because I am the mayor, Jean-Marc. And I will save you from yourself. Because it's better to get something done than nothing at all, like you said. Utterly, utterly corrupted, Lemieux. You've not changed at all. I've been supplanted in your esteem by a wanted murderer. You, you shame me. <laughs> no, sir. You shame me with your vain naivete. Oh, how I long for the luxury to have principles such as you. But I must actually do things. I see now. You're, you're lost to reason. Yeah. And I see now that you're a horrible little wretch and a sinner yourself. Your sin is deluded vanity. Now, sir, I am afraid that you must kill him. I will pay you handsomely. And Jean-Marc, I will miss you. I really shall. Kill him. It must be so. Please. You're not really going to kill me, are you? No. Thought I might. But uh, all I did was love too much. Love. My duty. Yeah, but you're running your I'll mouth about me, buddy. And him. He'll betray you just like he's betrayed me. Lemieux is a foul rat. 
But I'm a man of my word. L let me live and I'll, I'll... I'll destroy him. And I'll make sure you're left well alone. Oh, come on, please. Please, come on. You want to show a sad little man, would you? All right, so here's the two decision. Here's the decision. We kill uh, John Mark. Uh, Ma uh, Henry Lemieux remains mayor, but you get 10% off from all the stores in Saint Denis, which is which plus honor that 60% off of all shops. However, if you let G Mark go, uh, Mayor Lemieux will resign as mayor. So I think the right thing to do is we're gonna let him go. I just don't. I feel like uh, John Mark was so he was loyal to him, and I don't blame him. He's getting sick of Mayor uh, Henry Lemieux's corruption, but you can't tell he's not a bad guy. That's the problem. He looks like he's actually decent, but he's actually corrupt. So I think the best choice is to let go. I might be a brute, but I'm not a paid killer. Get out of here. Don't mention me, boy. I give you my word. And that is the end of Henry Lemieux's mission, so... That's one stranger down. I guess we're on to the next one. So that's one of the hardest decisions in the game. So, so long, six, uh, 10 percent extra more discounts on all shops in St. Denis. But honestly, the honor makes it up for it. So, I don't think it's not necessary, but it's only in St. Denis. We're well, in Valentine's, so I think we're pretty much fine. So, as Henry Lemus looks like an actual like, nice guy, he's actually corrupt. And he's evil, so... <laughs> It's hard for I thought I really like the guy, but but he is corrupt, so we want to get rid of corruption. So it's better for me to get rid of him. So other than that, let's start the next stranger mission. Okay, so here we are at Okrega's Run. We're about to meet up with Hamish, so he invited us to go fishing. So let's go talk to the guy. And there's his horse. Uh, what's his name? Beal. I like that name. I like the color. It looks like a cream color. Uh, let's talk to the guy. Hamish, Arthur, well come in. You said we might go out fishing. Don't take much persuading to get me to go fishing. Let's go to my boat. Good. Here she is. You mind rowing? Sure. What are we fishing for? Yeah. Only one thing worth catching in this lake. The great tyrant. Oh. <laughs> mean as hell, Northern Pike. Uh. Eats everything else that spawns around here, its own kind included. Well. Is that our bait then? A uh, jack or something? Hell no. He's a clever old bastard. <laughs> I made these. This one's mine. You're gonna have to spare. They are pretty. You don't know the half of it. <laughs> Come on, let's push off. I'll show you where we're rowing to. <sighs> Road to the fishing spot, so... We'll set up ten yard. Look out! Sorry. Take us over there to the right. We'll set up ten yards or so offshore. He don't keep far away from me, the tyrant. Wants me to know whose lake it is. We'll show him who's boss. Ha <laughs> ha! The optimism of youth. Right here. We'll cast off towards the island. Okay. You got that lure I gave you? All right, let's change it. There you go. Special lake lure, I believe. Get her out. Catch the legendary Northern Pike, so working on that. Finding the right combination of feathers, twine, and glimmer. Making them, losing them, getting them right. I tried coins, shell casings, even a metal. Finally found something he seems to like. And now I hear you can buy him in a shop. Well, it wouldn't be quite so. Which one is it? I don't see the fish. I think that's the one I see, that big fish. Satisfying. Getting them with something shop bought. Easy for you to say, <laughs> but maybe I'm inclined to agree. So yeah, it's a nice day. I'm not, I have, I didn't get to say that because it's a dialogue. But yeah, I done this mission before, but I'll explain later. But I remember I struggled with this mission back then. Uh oh, well, you got some? Ah, I got something, all right. <laughs> Uh, hey, him. Hey, you need Come on that. now, Tyrant, I got you. I got you. Come on. 
Uh oh, where's he at? Amos. All right, let's get back on the boat. Stay there. I'm rowing out to you. Real quick. Bastard just bumped me. <laughs> Over here. Go. Hey, come on up here. Come on. You lost anything? Uh, just my rod. Uh, we got my toes, too. They weren't wooden. You want another go at him? I still got my lure. Nah. He's your fish now. Cast away. All right. Row to the fishing we'll spot. From the other way. Row over there. Yeah, here we go. I had to check twice. Thought I'd find a chunk of me missing. Man eating pike? That would be a first. I'm not so sure. Okay, right here. Our hopes of catching this bastard lie with you. Cast back to where we were and make sure to use that lure I gave you. Yeah, right, here we go. Where do we, there it is. So I didn't know this was actually a legendary fish. I don't think it's in Red Dead Online. So yeah, I, oh, I got him. I think I hooked him. All right, come on. Real. Let's land the bastard. Hope I can. I hope I get better at this. Reel it in. All right, got it. It's gonna take. It's gonna be slow. Come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, come on, we just gotta pull hard. Let's get this damn fish. This mission I struggle with when I first done this, but it's a different character though. All right, let's go. Come on. This fish does not want to go. Ah, uh, this this is what's so annoying. Well, I hope I can get it. This fish looks so far. Come on, come on. Bring it in now. I think he's getting closer. I could tell. Oh my god, this fish is so irritating. Oh my god, what do I have eagle eye? I hate when you do that. I wish you could turn that off somehow. Oh, there it's coming. I can feel it. Come on, stupid fish. Get over here. Ah, oh, stupid eagle eyes. So annoying. Start reeling. We got you now, tyrant. We got you now. All right, almost there. The fish is getting close. All right, come on, stupid you I stop. He's tiring, all right. All right, come on, come on, almost there, almost there. Get a wrestle with this giant. Come on, almost there, almost there. Yeah, this fishing mission got him. Let's 
throw back. Here, here. Oh, I'm the holder. <sighs> Pass me the tyrant. That is if you're sure you don't want him. Oh, I ain't gonna poach from your pond. <sighs> well, I'll give him his honors then. He sure was something, huh? <laughs> he was. <clears throat> Thanks for taking me out. I appreciate the company. <sighs> That's one hell of a fish. Hey, you need something? <laughs> so long. Hey, you ever want to go out hunting? You stop by again. I may. There you go. We got damage now. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, that was so funny, man. The way he just screamed, the way he caught that fish. That's what makes me like this mission even more. It's just <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Heyman just gets, he just screams out of nowhere. That's so funny. He hated that fish. <laughs> oh yeah, so honestly, that's the fu the that's the funniest fishing trip I ever did. Even funner than the one with Jose and Dutch. So yeah, this, this, um, this, that mission was so fun to do. And I'll tell you this, I done it with John a year ago when I first played this game, so it was funner with Arthur to be honest. Even though John do mentions Arthur on it, so other than that, let's go see Charlotte. Alright, so before we make our way to Charlotte, let's stop by to Marco Dragic's, um laboratory. I see a gun inside, let's check it out. So drop broken pirate sword for electric lantern. So, and I got a trophy for that. So stop by to his laboratory. You get a new lantern. So, so yeah, um, basically the professor has died, and um, now you got the lantern. Don't worry about your pirate sword. It's still giving me your inventory. So, uh, I'm gonna show you guys something later on, probably after I'm done with this game. So, so we got two new lanterns. Pirate sword's right here, guys. So don't don't worry about dropping your stuff. It will remain your inventory. So other than that, on our way to Charlotte right now. Yeah. All right, then. So here we are at Willard's Rest. We're about to check on Charlotte. Let's see how she's doing. She is outside, reading the book, I believe. My my, I was wondering when I was gonna see you again. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean no, it. I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? Uh, I'm still standing, which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please. Call me Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. Well, please go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Oh, well, that's very kind. So now Charlotte's doing good for herself. Now she, we can come into her house and get anything that we need. She may have a bit of supplies. Not much, but it's something though. But it's worth coming back anytime you need it. But Charlotte's doing great for herself. So I'm really happy that I got her missions completed. I wish I'd done this in my first playthrough. So anyways, let's go see Dutch. Alright then, so here we are back at Beaver Hollow. We're about to talk to Dutch. So what is next? I have a bad feeling there's Micah right next to him. So why are these two still here? Old pals of Micah's. They're getting real comfortable. We need guns for what's coming. Cleet and Joe know how to fight. <clears throat> it's lucky I bumped into them. What is going on, Dutch? What is happening to us? What's happening to you? You show him some respect. Excuse me. Mr. Vandalin, Mr. Morgan, Charles, they try to kill my people for oil, for oil. Today we ride once more, 
Ride with me, ride with us! Ride with us against the factory! I love your courage, son. It is a thing of great beauty. Stop! Everyone, stop! My son, my last son, don't. When I was your age, I fought. I saw death. I have killed. The men I knew were slain. My firstborn, your brother, had his head smashed by a drunken soldier. My wife had her throat slit. I made peace. I knew not to trust. Yet I had no choice. Maybe you were right. Maybe the slow death is worse than the fast one. Maybe none of these men are good. Maybe a world in which they came to us is a world that we cannot endure. But endure we must. Father, you are tired. Do not die for pride, my son. We have suffered too much in this trick. The earth, the water, they have no pride. They endure, and we must endure. My only boy, my precious boy, do not mistake my strength for weakness. As your chief, I implore you. Your words mean nothing to me, father. Don't. Ride with me, now! Stop. Please, stop. <laughs> Please, Mr. Morgan, after you helped me after we spoke, this is just a trap. My son, my people, will all die. You help this fellow, Arthur? Please. What of it? What else you been doing behind Dutch's back? What? The wars are over. We have lost. These young men will be annihilated. Please. I'll see what I can do, Charles. Who else will come with me? Oh, I'll ride, Arthur. Who knows what other secrets I'll learn about. Who else? I will. And me. Me too. Oh, and me. I guess. All right. So what's going on? So here we go. Let's take out my weapons. We're gonna be ready. So what's okay? Let them talk first before I what explain. What have you been doing behind my back, Arthur? I was trying to stop this mess from getting any worse. Maybe that didn't work. Why the hell would they attack the oil fields? What do you mean? It's perfect. This was your idea. Partly. The army. The government. The industrialists. They've taken everything from these people. Wouldn't you want to fight back? You've handed them a death sentence. Just like John if we hadn't got him out of that prison. Hey, show some goddamn respect. You'll know when I ain't showing respect, Bill. I had a plan. I still have a plan. What plan? What goddamn plan, Dutch? Tahiti? <laughs> Timbuktu! That's enough! What's wrong with you all? What happened to loyalty? Yeah, what did? Thank you, Javier, Bill. Right now, it doesn't matter how we got here. These men need our help. I have a plan. This is the plan. So either stick with me or cut loose. Because I am tired of this constant descent. Long tired of it. Now come on. So I was gonna say is what's going on is um I'm sorry guys, I try to drink. So um basically um the um Eagle Flex is pissed that the um the US Army broke that peace treaty, so he has no choice but to go to war because he doesn't believe in peace treaties no more. Even though Ray's false it's one of Eagle flies. He needs help. They all need help. Quick, somebody help no. him. No, go. Please hurry. I'll be. Come on. 
So anyway, so Eagle Flight has declared war on the U.S. Army, so... But this is an unwinnable war, so it's up to the Vanderlyn gang. Right now, the gang's pretty much in split right now. And I'll explain why. That look right there between Arthur and John. They know this is a bad idea. Oh, yep, the war has started already. The raid of the kerosene tar has has started. It's a massacre. We gotta help these men. And anyone see eagle flies? There, going across the walkway. You got what you want, Dutch. You coming, Arthur? I'm gonna try and save him. This fight is unwinnable. If you go and distract them and let me get to him, <laughs> have it your way. The rest of you, ride with me. Let's meet up at the factory. That's right! Yeah. Go with them. Try and help there. I'm better off alone. We're riding with you. Come on then. Yeah. Here we go. It's on now. The raid of Kerosene Tar has begun. Wait. Why is that the Lichfield? I don't like this gun. That gun sucks. The Lancaster is the best weapon. He's he dead. Let's grab my handguns. It's on now. Let's go save Eagle Fly. Sniper, we gotta take him down. There's three snipers on that tower. We gotta take him down. There you go. Snipers have been dispatched. Let's grab the shotgun out. We're gonna run the gun right now. Wait, there's so many of these these US Army dudes. And the question is, will Colonel Favors be there or he's gonna be a coward? Because this we're gonna get revenge on him for screwing Captain Monroe. Alright, we're gonna go all out. Let's shred these cats. Let's find eagle flies. Let's take out the soldier. Where's, where's my handgun? Lancaster. Got him. Arthur. Get up. Thank you. All of you. We need to go. Where are my men? Where are my men? We saw some fighting by the factory. That's where Dutch is gone. Let's go, quick! Any men we see, we must save them. Let's find okay, the others. We need to get in the factory, Bill. You're nothing but murderers. What kind of men are you? How many of you does it take? You got to get the us all. Man, my headshots are spot on right now. I better get a gold on this mission. Let's follow everyone. Ooh, another headshot, man. Is that a Gatling gun I see, or is it just me? Yeah, I was gonna headshot the other dude. I hear a train. They're bringing reinforcements. Oh, we got a man down. All right, come on. We got to pick off these guys. Any more? All right, let's kill the rest of these guys from that train. So, turns out Colonel Favors is... Oh no, Gatling gun. 
All right, so it turns off Colonel Favors is here. Hope we can get to find the guy. Ah, oh, man, my, my dead eye is too low. Got him. Oh no, I got low on health. I got, I got to slow down real quick, guys. Come on, I need some health. My core is so low right now. This is the worst time. Let's go then. And I'm trying not to use any health items. Alright, let's grab the shotgun now. Come on. Oh, why is my dead I have to be so low? It always like that when I'm in the heat of battle. To where there's no way to improve it, especially being at max level. What just happened? Peyton has died? All right, we gotta kill these guys. We gotta keep Peta alive. Oh crap! Uh, okay, that's what happened. There you go. Got the guy. That's what I missed. Man, the U.S. Army is taking a lot of casualties right now. They're losing a lot of men against the Rapidi Trap and the Vendelin Gang. That's kind of embarrassing, though. More of them. More of them. I see him. Oh no, we got another man down. That's we're losing way too much, man. We have to get rid of them. There's just a little bit more of these guys. Let's go to Dutch. I look like that's the end of the U.S. Army for now. So good of you to join us. Hello, son. Hey. Saved your life. He did. Hey, you're quite the hero, Arthur, ain't you? Just a regular good guy. Same as always. What is it with you, Arthur? What is it? I don't get you. Don't get you no more. Oh, the doubting. The doubting. Come on, get him out of here. All of you. Come on. Let's go finish things. Finish what? Oh, the doubts. You know why I wanted them to attack this place? I have no idea. Javier, you get them and you go. Until I find all my men. I'm not leaving. As you wish. Rest of you, get out of here. I'm staying with you. We're getting our ticket out of here. We need to so turn the office. It's upstairs on the other side. I broke in here before to get those papers for Eagle Flies. That's better, Arthur. A little help. Come on, son. What are we looking for? Money. You fool. The money. There's state bonds here. Lots of them. I thought you were paying attention. Old Cornwall had a deal with the state. He was being paid to develop the region against the federal government's wishes as they didn't want problems with the Indians. Anyway, so we get it. We're done. We're almost free. Yes. If we're right. We've had tough times. The toughest of times. But come on, don't doubt me no more. All right, so here we go. Um, the real reason why Dutch sent the Indians to attack this place. Be here somewhere. Look the office. I've been here before. Check that cupboard by the door. Oh, we here. All right. Medicine chest. I'll take the health care, but I'm full of it, so I can't. Let's check in here. Unless Dutch found it already. 
I found I found some cash. I'll take it though for That's myself. Okay. Twenty bucks. How much? I got Empty. Him. I got him. I got him. This is it. It's safe bonds. How much? It's a a few thousand dollars worth, maybe more. <laughs> oh, we are nearly there. Arthur, we're nearly there. Mr. Morgan, let's go home. Let's get out of here, Arthur. Colonel Favors. That was Colonel Favors. Yeah, these guys are down. So Colonel Favors is in the area now. We gotta take him down. Let's follow Dutch. Let's go, come on! I'm 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 getting there. Whoa! Wow, he killed eagle flies. Oh, you, you silly fool! Come on! You saved my life more than once. To give mine for yours, it's as it should be. Come on! We need to go. You. You ran away. Oh, I did no such thing. Don't be a fool. They could be back here any minute. We did it, gentlemen. Well, we got some money. And with the train job, well, we got a whole lot of money. Come on. Everything is coming together exactly as I planned. I've got to take the boy to his father. As you wish. Usually he is nowadays. Sure. Come on! We gotta get back to camp and prepare! Let's ride! I'll be back when I can. I'll stay with you. And me, of course. And so will I. No, get out of here. Please. This ain't gonna be nothing nice. Be safe, Arthur. All right, come on. Let's get him to what Petey as fast as we can. All right. Go to a Petey. Hold on, my friend. Our men. We must go back for the bodies. We will. Save your strength. My friend, I'm sorry. About this. About all of this. You have nothing to be sorry for. You know, Dutch. Dutch is... I guess my thinking is he used you. He wasn't trying to help anyone but himself and his own crazy principles. We're grown men. Nobody made us do anything. Maybe I'm talking for my people as much as for yours. We saw he turned crazy and, and we couldn't believe it and we followed him anyway. Things should never have gone this far. You seen the situation on the reservation? Better to die fighting than sick and weak. Maybe, but you, your people deserve better. Peter has a point. But man, not really. All this death, and for what? Just so we can have enough money to be able to run away from what we've done? There used to be some, some reason to it. 
lines that couldn't be crossed. We even helped some folk. Those lines have been gone for some time now. The time has come for us to draw our own lines, Arthur. Decide where we go from here. I swear, back there, Dutch just stood and watched. If it wasn't for Eagle Flies, I'd be... I know. I feel like he's descended into the kind of man he told us never to be. Maybe. He's just become more who he really is. I don't know anymore. I just feel like a fool. That money, those bonds, whatever it is, I don't want a cent. There's too much blood on it. Let's just get this boy to his father. So yeah, Dutch said he changed a lot in a very Man, bad way. My friend, he's a brave man. And now we are very right with Petey. Always has been. This won't be in vain. We will try to round up more men from the north, wherever we can. Many are ready to fight. Look, as the eagle flies. Bialyshach, it's the chief's son. I think he's been shot. Oh no, he is wounded. Where's Rain's falls? He's right there. Bring him to me. Eel flies has died. My son. What are they gonna do now? They must move and fast. I'll stay and help them. I'll stay too. No, my friend. You have others who need you. Good people. I'm sorry, but we... We must pack and move. Arthur's having another um, tuberculosis attack. That's not good. Oh my god. This chapter is so brutal. Uh, 
There you go. My last boy. A bronze. I thought I was going to do better. Alright, let me see why. Say Peta. Yeah, I could have done it first. Get 30 headshots. Complete at least 80% accuracy. I should have got this one done. And this one too. I didn't even take any... But it's whatever. Though. Screw it. So, uh, so Eagle Flex has, has died. And when you hear that Indian music, that hit me. I actually cried. For the second time, guys. This is why this game can make you emotional. I wasn't ready for that. You know, I thought after playing this for three years, was it three years? No, five years. I thought it's not going to get me, but it, it still did. God damn. So, yeah, Dutch has used Eagle Flies. It was so messed up. And then Arthur had his second attack and was saved by, um, by the Germans. The same people who we saved back in the end of Chapter 2. And they're also the... They're also El Rubio's um, ancestors. So I guess we're going to wrap it up. Uh, we're, um, we're actually there to almost the end, end of the chapter. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give a thumbs up like you hear my subscribe. This is Red Dead Redemption 2 Story Mode Part 47. The Raid of Kerosene and Tar. So as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. And welcome to the DH Network. This your partner speaking, signing out.